Hey y'all, welcome back to the DIY Entrepreneur's Reaction Show. I'm so glad you decided to tune in with me today. Go ahead and hit that like button and become a subscriber to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. I would really appreciate that. Uh, today we're going to be reacting to another Shark Tank pitch, so let's check it out. Next into the tank is a reimagined favorite snack. Hello Sharks, my name is Sanjeev Patel from Dallas, Texas, and my product is Lord Nut Levington Peanuts. Lord I'm here today seeking $500,000 in exchange for 30% of my company. So a bit about this handsome chap. Who is Lord Nut Levington? Urban legend has it that Lord Nut hails from Blighty, an unsavory land far, far away across the Great Pond, known for its extreme blandness and lack of flavor. When he could stand it no longer, Lord Nut decided upon a self-imposed exile and set out for the exciting new world in search of flavor. Later, Lord Nut found his true calling in life, to fight bland where it hides and bring freedom of flavor to the masses. But before I go on any further, please take a moment, take your taste buds, and try some of our highly seasoned peanuts. <laughs> highly seasoned peanuts. Just grab one of those trays. Oh, thank you, Sanjay. You're welcome. Yeah. Hey, Laurie. Just grab the seed Okay. Wow. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Feel free to grab the package. Thank you. I Which one did you try? I tried the El Cheddaratus. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Ah, spicy. Can I ask you just Why a basic you question? Sure. 500,000 for 30% computes <laughs> a value close to a million and a half, or just over, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what you must sales? have some great sales and distribution, right? We have some sales, yes. I launched the brand in April of 2011. As of the end of last month, we've made $700,000 in sales, wow. which is the equivalent of 300,000 cans of peanuts. What were uh, your sales last year, Sinjin? So as of the last 12 months, it's $300,000. We had some... It's flat. Some, well, when we started this company, we had a couple of big box retailers, discount stores that just bought a ton of product, right? right. So, you know, it, it skews the figures earlier higher. Now you're normalizing sales at how much a year? We're going to end this year at about $350,000. That's okay, where how much are you going to make sales. on the three fifty? We won't make money this year. So why would you be worth a million and a half dollars? Because with, with half a million dollars from the sharks, right? Yeah, so, but, but hang on, hang on. Uh, yeah, I'll come out of eating peanuts. Uh, I can buy peanuts. I can flavor peanuts. I can dry roast peanuts. That's the only the thing value here is the brand. Um, what, I've never heard of Mr. Pardon My Flavor Lord Nut Lord. Bar. What's his name? Lord, Lord, Lord Nut. I don't know who this guy is, and the rest of America doesn't either. But we're going to get that. Really? We're on our way, yes. You so what do you do when you get say that you're on your way? Currently, we're in about 600 stores across the U.S. What kind of stores? Mainly down the middle of America. We're in Wegmans in the Northeast. Great company. Um, we just got into, well, the, earlier this year into H-E-B in South Texas. And have they reordered? Yes, 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 yes. How much have you invested? They're ready. $1.1 million. Wow. Wow. Where did you get the $1.1 million? And they're not profitable? So if you can legally tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I can legally tell you. <laughs> I, um... Came over to the U.S. in my MBA at Babson College in Boston, known for entrepreneurship. It's a great school. When I graduated, I joined what was then a fledgling pita chip company, Stacy's Pita Chip Company. And I was in charge of the money. That's uh, a very strong I, brand. It is now. When I joined, we were about two million in sales. In that journey, you must remember the days when you were trying to get permanent shelf space for that brand. Yes. It's so prohibitive in a commodity like peanuts or snacks to get space and keep it that you have to have scale to remain profitable. You're going to have to replace some linear footage in major retailers yes. against a guy that has 80% of the market. In fact, in our industry, it is very common that entrepreneurs, people like me, create brands. It is the role of the multinationals, the larger companies, to then scale those brands. That's why we have a thriving food entrepreneurial industry. Well said. That creates but you have to survive until so you have that's a, a great answer. Could we, a, an operator in the peanut space in the last 10 years, that has survived the slaughter fest from the big guy? Why does that have to be in peanuts? Any what the hell is this? Business. Any small food business. Just because it hasn't happened, do you lose faith in everything happening yes, from here forward? Yes, I lose faith. faith in You're a financial guy. Yeah. You're a financial guy. Doesn't I'm it say, a financial guy. Doesn't it say past results are no reflection of future performance? Is that right? I also say don't be an idiot and invest where you can't win. Uh, how about my pork barrel barbecue guys? Yes. 
They were at $500,000 in sales. It took them a year and a half to get there, and then it caught fire. And now they're over $2 million in sales. Yep. And you know why? Every doomsdayer that said to them they wouldn't do it, they ignored, like this character over here. I don't even know why. You're doing it just the same as Peanuts? Listen, you're just taking the guy down and making him feel like I'm not finished taking him down. You already said how you finished. I can't follow you down this path to hell, <laughs> and I won't do it. I'm out. Goodness gracious. <laughs> and then the man had to come back and say, I respect that. Oh my gosh. Sanju, I have a question. You yeah. didn't uh, mention earlier how you developed all these flavors. Did you cook yeah. them up yourself? Yeah, I'm not a cook. I'm not a chef. I can't mix things up and say, here's a great recipe. You know, recipe. that's the missing piece for me. Passion for the product. Mm. I almost feel like you're a left brain. Right the passion for the product. He's got, he's got cute over. names, but I haven't heard any love of your penis from you at all. Mm. Forgive me, but every food business I've gotten involved in, that was front and center, and I'm not getting it. I'm out. Look how he looking like, really? You don't think that I love my product? But we don't know what happened during the entire pitch. And maybe she said this pretty early in the pitch. But they've been coming to him with the numbers. They talked about where they're at, how he believes he could uh, come in there asking for half a million dollars for 30% and they're not profitable yet. So they've been talking more about that. He has not had an opportunity, at least in this, what we've seen so far. He has not had the opportunity to kind of share his passion for naming the uh, flavors for any of that. I haven't really heard a lot of talk about the product yet. It's been mainly about the numbers and his audacity to come in and ask for a half a million dollars and, and not profitable yet or, or not as profitable. So uh, let's see. So, <laughs> he's confused. I couldn't try your peanuts because peanuts don't agree with me. Oh. Because I can't even eat your product or even try it, I'm out. I understand. Thank you. So, Sanjeev, I love, uh, unlike Kevin, <laughs> I really like disruptive technologies. So, I have no problem with the market that you're going into. Mm. But I didn't hear the plan. I didn't hear anything that makes me want to spend half a million dollars to help you build the brand going forward. I, I gotta be out. you like, what am I missing? Sanjeev, here's my problem. What you haven't talked to is sales velocity, right? Yeah. Here's your chance right now to tell me, here's why they're flying off the shelves or here's why they will, because that's the missing piece, so tell me. Come with We're it. bringing a differentiated product into this category with a fun, exciting brand that people feel passionate about. There is no water cooler talk happening about those other products. There's no water cooler talk talking about well, Lord people get not quite, People get excited when they try a product. That's, see, now you went from giving data to talk and giving stories. I don't see this blowing out the doors, and I don't think this is enough capital to correct mistakes. Your problem is sales not flying off the shelf. I'm out. Okay, I respect that. Thank you. Mm. Are we done? Is that everyone? We're done, big time. <laughs> it's lovely to meet you. Good luck, Sanji. Thank you. Bye. Mm. Great guy. Lovely man. You could tell he definitely tried to, well, not you can tell, but to me, it seemed like at the end, he was just trying to keep his dignity about his product and about his brand. He, it, it was nice to meet you. He like, all right. You know, just he just sounded like that, but... And so he came into the tank with Lord Nut Levitine um, asking for, and these are peanuts, canned peanuts. And so came in asking for $500,000 in exchange for 30% of the company. I think the, the biggest thing here was... Uh, he's in a lot of stores. They've done a lot of sales, but they're not profitable yet. And so I would have liked if they would have spent a little bit more time asking, where's the money going? What are you doing with the money now? Where, where, where's the pit hole to where all the money is going to? Are you spending a lot of money on marketing? Does it cost you a lot to get your customers? Um, and so I would have liked to hear a little bit more about that. But he did not get a deal walking out of the tank. And so I just wish him the best in his efforts. Again, this was an old episode. So season five back in 2014. And so I just hope that he uh, ended up doing well in his business. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in and staying until the end. I really do appreciate that. Make sure you hit that like button and become a subscriber if you like this content. And make sure you stick around to join us for the next ones. Great opportunity. Love being here. Now I'm going to go out there and fight Bland and sell some peanuts. That's I'm going to give the guy a ton of credit because he came in and kicked Kevin's butt. Yeah, oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, but he was wrong, Mark. He, he, I don't he know would be covered in offers. And look. Oh, oh, oh. He didn't get any offers. You're just a lousy mood today. It's terrible. <laughs>